squirrel hunting's my thing as a kid. But over there, man, them squirrels are different. It was like five or six shots to kill a squirrel. Yeah. But you got to consider all of them. What's some, what's some trees? You're you're shooting oh, 50 really foot, tall. 60 foot up in the tree, and that squirrel's not playing around getting from tree to tree. <laughs> I like shoot, seeing those black squirrels in the shoot. I'd never shot a black squirrel until we went over there. Right. That was cool. We just don't have them in the hills. Have no, y'all ever seen them? I've never seen them. Very few, yeah. <clears throat> Most of them are down in the Delta. Yeah. Mm. And I guess it's a hybrid or some kind of. It's fox squirrel. Yeah, fox squirrel that's mm. got that gene that turns its jet black. Yep, that's right. I, think that, I don't know. Squirrel hunting's my thing as a kid. But now, yeah. but over there, man, them squirrels are different. Uh, I'm talking about it, it would take, it was like five or six shots to kill a squirrel. But you got to consider all of them. What's some, what's some trees? You're you're shooting oh, 50 really foot, tall. 60 foot up in the tree, and that squirrel is not playing around getting from tree to tree. That's yeah, It's not how I ever, like a squirrel hunt to me was like, you'd ease out in the woods, you'd sit down, you'd try to let things calm down. Squirrels would come out, you know, you'd try to pick one or two off, whether you're using a shotgun or a twenty two, whatever. But it was no, like we never really had a squirrel dog or we didn't you know go on these drives or tracks or whatever you want to call it that we were doing but over here you all gather up everybody's got side by sides yeah, that's right we had too many people really yeah. i mean that was the, the first trip of the year so it was all more yeah, about the camaraderie and everybody catching up from the year and uh but it, it was probably too many people there but well, we had a big time about 15 or 16 <laughs> side by sides. I don't me. know. I know nobody could get a shot in from them two boys. Oh, yeah. Two, two young boys. Lane they were putting a hammer Lane down. and Anderson, I don't know how many shells they shot, but I'm pretty sure their daddy had to go buy them some oh, more yeah. when oh, they yeah. got home. I look back, and it was about the best I could tell was probably five generations of people hunting over there. Probably so. Because just, just our decades represented. Because oh. there were some older guys, you know, there was guys our age. Yeah, and there were some of them older There's, guys that had been hunting over there. You know, I've been in there almost 20 years, and those guys are – you know, they talk about hunting it. Yeah, when they were young men, you know, so they've been hunting there for years and years. That was that was pretty cool seeing that. But man, the, the terrain there is, is it's like a jungle in some places. <laughs> That's what was crazy. Like this guy, so we're riding side by side down roads. This guy's got his dogs, and what he got them trained. They probably what do you, get, what do you think? Maybe a hundred yards away, about as far as they're gonna get. Yeah, usually, maybe a little more, but yeah. And right. and they pretty much win the squirrel that's been crossed and. Them dogs on the tree. He had, I don't know how many dogs had total, but he'd let what two, three out at a time, two, rotate them out. Yeah, two. No, most of the time, yeah. letting out two. But they're it's pretty impressive. I've never hunted with a dog. They, they actually called me the day before yesterday. Jay did and said, "Hey, we're going to go to Clarksdale, and they're going to go to another club behind the levee down there in Clarksdale." And they invited me to go. I think I'm going to try to make that happen at least. They're going for four days. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, I said, I might can go for a day and a half, but <laughs> so, I'm going to try to go Friday maybe and go with them Because these jerkers there. party hard as they do squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I can't <laughs> hang with them on the party, and, you know, I'm a – shoot. See, they that's get what after got me. Now. They had me hooked. Yeah. You pull up, and, you know, it's okay to go ahead and pop a top. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast. For breakfast. Yeah. I got a rule. Out I got way. a rule. I try not to have my first beer till 5 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, well, you re- I failed it. I failed. Oh, but, yeah. 10 30 a.m. It's yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Before lunch, you're having beers. Yeah. Oh, man. I made it but to some, I so three. I think some, I made it to three. Some people don't actually jump out and shoot squirrels. Some of, some of those guys just want to see the dog work. They want to be the ones kind of coordinating, and they let the younger guys jump out. Well, and shoot I the didn't fire but one shot. Yeah, yeah. I used your gun. You killed a squirrel, though. Yeah, I, I didn't. That. I didn't even shoot one. But that, that was the only one I shot. Yeah. But I just like to be there. And oh yeah. For the camaraderie of it. Well, you got some tree shakers. The guys. You got the yeah. guys that run out and shake the vines, and you got the ones that beat the trees with the sticks. And that's right. Then you got the guys with the guns. Then you got the guys with the dogs. I mean, it's a it's an ordeal. It's a. Then you got the kids. You got to outrun. Then you got the, the kids. You got to outrun. I give I give up on that one after a minute. <laughs> that's right. But no, it was. 